that who you are right now is suffering and is in pain. Let's become someone else. And then the reflection after you've done that work, it's like, because you could shift people or you could shift identities, who are you really? And then you become identified with no identification. Have I got that right? Well, yes and no, but <laughs> I should have been listening more. <laughs> well, no, that's a pretty huge gap. Yes. Um, to go from identification to no identification. So usually there's going to be a form of more positive identification. So like, for example, yep. I had an eating disorder for a number of years. So one of the ways I had to give up that enabled me to give the eating disorder up was I took on a more positive addiction, mm. which was I would actually sit in front. Those were the old days and we had actually television, right? So I would yes. actually sit in front of the television. The good old days, Jane. <laughs> the good old days and watch for hours because that was better than my eating disorder behavior. So that was a more positive, mm. that was one simple little step into a more positive sense of myself. But eventually I got to where I could let go of that and still retain, right, um, a positive sense. So it's like step by step into more positive versions of myself and finding mm. out, you know, and when they build up over time, then it's like you get to be two decades later and you get to look back and say, well, I did that and I was okay. Maybe I can take this step now. Mm. I was okay then. I could take another step now and I'll be okay. Mm. So we, but for, when we have an understanding or a realization that we're bigger than our fear, you know, we're bigger than our personality and we have a way, like whether it's through breath or visualization or some practice, we have a way to keep connecting with that biggerness of who we are. That's a huge safety resource that we can draw on all the time. And that's what I utilized all the time because then mm. forms can change, you know, relationships can change, addictions can change. Um, we can lose a job and still know if we can fall back on that inner place of trust and faith that things always work out because there's something larger at work through my life that's a, a key resource 